Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another stream slash video. Getting back into Metroid Prime 2 here. Heading into the final region of the game. And for all the bad stuff that happened in the last part of this playthrough, um, obviously I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. And everything bad that happened is all Kojima's fault. Because Kojima's a fucking cocksucker. That's right, I said it. He's a fag. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so now we can head back to the uh, Grand Temple area, right? And get access to the final region. Probably notice that this game's gonna look a lot smoother than the previous parts now that uh, I've got 60 FPS streaming and recording. So enjoy that. Now you get to see the game in its true glory. Hey, what's up, Chief De uh, Debo, SSI recipient? <laughs> I almost said Chief Debbie. Why, why do people call him Chief Debbie? What's the meme with that? I am loving this new computer. Paid for it by e-begging, obviously. Because I have a dreaded Patreon account. Oh no! Oh no, guys, he's asking for a dollar. This game just came out of nowhere. What's up, Mr. Freethinker? Yeah, once you light these guys on fire, you can see where they're at, even in their stealth camouflage. Oh, it's all good, man. That was just a test stream anyway. I don't know if you know, I got a new computer. So if you're, uh, if 
you, if you got a compatible display, man, if you're watching the recordings, you can set this uh, to 1440p 60fps now. Nothing much, man. I actually quit smoking weed yesterday. Prayed this morning as well. I heard a ringing in my right ear while I was researching judgment. Huh. Why'd you quit weed if it was, if you said it was calming you, uh, calming you down? Hey, what's up, Dark? Go to the right here. Yeah, I found a setting so uh, everything can get sent to uh, Discord as well. Actually, all the platforms, as a matter of fact. It's called a uh, relay, so I can relay the messages. That way, if somebody's on kick, you guys will see it on YouTube and vice versa. The Temple of Torvis glows with energy once more. Only one temple remains without the light of Aether. You must travel to our fortress, high in the cliffs. The last temple lies in the fortress. Seek knowledge there before invading the Ing Hive. Be cautious in the fortress. This place was once guarded by machines of our creation, but now they are corrupted slaves of the Ing. They will not see you as a friend. Our goal draws ever closer. Let the light of Aether be your guide. Why though? Uh, it's because that way, um, if somebody's in the chat, like if, basically, you guys won't be confused anymore if I'm reading somebody's comment, you guys will be able to see it too and respond without having to change platforms. There won't be any more confusion in the chat. That way nobody has to feel like they're left out if there's only one person in the chat on one platform and there's like three other people in the YouTube chat, they won't have to feel like, oh damn, it's better to go over here. You know, you guys will be able to all see the comments no matter what platform you're on. Alright, so I didn't get any uh, translator though, right? So where do I have to go to get over there? Probably over here, right? And I haven't been down here yet, so maybe this way. So temple Transport A, then? This is my right. I plan on getting a new PC next year. I plan on spending at least a thousand on a laptop. Yeah, a thousand's gonna give you uh, some real nice specs. But be smart about it. Definitely shop around. You know, do your research. And if you play it smart, you know, you'll get a, a good deal like I got. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, yeah, my max resolution on the stream is 108060, but I'm recording this at 144060. I'm streaming at 108060 only because the other platforms don't support um, you know, resolutions above 1080p for streaming.
because I multi-stream to more than just YouTube, uh, it's limited to 1080p. I have it limited. If I only stream to YouTube, then I would stream and record 1440, 60. Either way, it's still a huge improvement from what I was using before. Yeah, my last computer even had trouble just running the, um, the capture card, my Elgato HD60X. Like, I tried to use it a couple times on the old computer, and it just, it just wasn't happy with it. Getting some kind of lagging issue after a while. This way, and then I should be able to get over here. I believe that's where the fortress area is. The compound area. Damn, I can't get over there yet, though. Should be another way to get over there. be a better option then. Maybe I can get around there from there. Hey, what's up, level one? What GameCube game do you plan to tackle after this one? Uh, I'm not really sure. I have no idea. Cutting it close to the year of the dragon. Start start playing the dragon games pretty soon. Is there any dragon related games on the GameCube? What about Blue Dragon? Has anybody played that? Does that actually have like dragons in it? I own it, but I've never played it. Yeah, Dark. Yeah. Yep, Dragon Games all year next year. There will be a couple of exceptions, I'm sure, but it's not just going to be like 100% all the time just Dragon Games, but... But yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot of different Dragon Games. Hopefully I can get over here. Should be able to. Now there will be a couple of exceptions, Dark. I don't want to play, um, I want to play through the Halo Master Chief Collection. And I want to play, uh, Fable Anniversary.
Yeah, Spyro's gonna be the first one. Skate's still gonna be in my damn way, huh? So I I need the uh, the super bomb to get through this, right? Super missiles don't do shit. So at the moment you cannot get over here, basically. Damn, where the hell is the access to the um Sanctuary Fortress? Desert lands. This one goes to the Travis Bog. Can't get over here. What about Shrek games? Shrek's not a dragon. I mean, there's a dragon in Shrek, but it's not really uh, not really a major focus of it, though. Shrek's an ogre. He's not a dragon. Entrance to um, Sanctuary Fortress. I don't remember. There's nothing over here. I would think I'd have to be in the temple. It's not really substantial enough. There's a dragon in it, but it's just kind of a side character. It doesn't really count. Let me go back to the Grand Temple. a page on Wikipedia that has a list of dragons in video games, really. How many are there, anyway? Is it just a number? See if I was missing something. So it was high in the cliffs, but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily like show me exactly where that is. Point me in the direction to where that might be. Hey, I'm lost. Give me some GPS. Oh, I had to talk to him again? You have weakened the enemy forces in Torvus. The Ying now fear and loathe your name. Do not relent. Press on. Show the Darklings in Sanctuary no quarter. Great. How do I get to it?
I would love to go there, but I don't know how to get there. Go to this location. I'm not going to tell you how to get there or where to go exactly, but just go there. Gee, thanks. That's really helpful. All right. Hold on. Let me grab my grab my fucking phone here so I can figure out where this is at. I'm not wandering around for 45 minutes trying to find where this is actually at. Yeah, and look at that. First thing I find, game FAQs. How the heck do I get to Sanctuary Fortress? From the room where Yumas is, leave the room and take the elevator down. Go to the door directly across the room. Enter it. Take elevator to Temple Grounds. Go past War Wasps to the next room. Use Dark Visor and Seeker Missiles to go to take down the object blocking your path. Go through the door. Okay, so... In the room where he's at, leave the room, take the elevator back down. Lower the door directly across the room. Okay. Yeah, they could have maybe done a better job of pointing you in that direction. I mean, I know games back then, like, didn't ever really hold your hand for anything. And to an extent, I appreciate that, but... I mean... Geez, like, don't leave a player just wandering around trying to figure out where you want them to go. At least tell them, like, why doesn't he tell you, like, oh, it's in this area, I've updated your map to show you where it's at. You know, he could have done something. You're not just left wandering around. Minor complaint. So it's the room after this one. Go past the war wash to the next room. So down here, I'm presuming. Now we have to use the dark visor. Aha! Ah, so that is how we get over here. So we're okay. This is a. Uh, a dark visor thing. A little thing I can use for this, huh? Okay. Gotcha. I kind of figured it had to be in this area. I just couldn't really figure out how to get over here. And they got some uh, dark troops over here. I didn't realize it was a puzzle to open this area up. Forgot about that damn dark visor. I forgot I have that now. Pretty cool, I like the dark visor. Kind of like a thermal goggle type thing. Pretty cool. What is this? Analysis complete. Object appears to be a damaged piece of powered art. Hollow projectors are offline. Combat damage appears final. Repairs are unlikely. And now that we're back here, we can actually jump up on this ship. As I remember. Um, there's actually a, a missile expansion up here. I remember that. There 
it is. Nice JPEG image background there. Yeah, the emulation can only do so much to improve the image. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, backgrounds back in 2004, you know, they weren't great. Prince, did you ever play Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex? Yes, I have. Didn't really care for it too much, but yeah, I played it. Beyond this door, the path to Sanctuary Cliff lies. Once a place of peaceful residence, now a fortress for those who make war. May it find tranquility once more. So this is my favorite area of the game, down here. Let's get some of my health back before I go in here, because uh, it's going to get hard. Just go ahead and defile my own allies there, it's fine. that though. Yeah, at this point we've got most of our equipment. Luminov turret, automated heavy defense system, heavy beam weapon system of Luminov design. Evade its fire with quick movement. As the number of Luminoth warriors dwindled, they turned to machines to protect key areas. Automated gun turns were often the first line of defense against king attacks. Though powerful, they weren't nimble enough to deal with agile enemy targets. Damn, I got 64% of the scans. Pretty good. I remember these things too. What happens if you go in it without the light armor? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Just get blinded. <laughs> yeah, so we have to wait until we get uh, the light armor and then basically we can fast travel with this. But that's not until like the end of the game, so... New lore entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Luminoth lore translated. The Sky Temple. We learn that the ruler of the Ing dwelled in a place dubbed the Sky Temple by our forces. This place held the planetary energy of Dark Aether as well. It was heavily guarded. An entry was bared by a great gate requiring ten keys to unlock. These keys were hidden throughout Dark Aether by the Ing. A mission was planned, one that would find the hidden keys and recover our missing energy from the Sky Temple. Elevator system online. Access to Sanctuary Fortress granted. Nice glitchy uh, loading there. Luminoth subject expired 1.4 deca cycles ago. Fatal wounds on subject appear to have been caused by Luminoth heavy weapon systems. Bioscan complete. Luminoth subject expired 1.4 deca cycles ago. No evidence of Ing possession present. Wounds on subject were of Luminoth origin, not Ing. Traces of machine fluids suggest an attack by a mechanoid.
Object analysis complete. This is a Luminos security sensor array. Array is online and transmitting data. Data feed appears to be compromised, however. It is possible that the enemy is using this array. Elevator system online. Access to Luminoth Temple granted. Structural analysis complete. This is a statue of EBTR, the founder of Sanctuary. He lived for nearly five census cycles and died in hand-to-hand -hand combat during the first Ing attacks. Kind of a trade-off here. I got rid of the stuttering, but you might see some like loading problems. So the stutter complications are gone, but um, yeah, as it tries to load new data in here, shit might be kind of kind of buggy, <laughs> just a little bit. Is this supposed to open up? is this? Security panel hacked. Ring control system engaged. Moving ring to open position. Ah, there we go. Recording to logbook. New creatures entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Mechanisms. Serenity class drone. Independent maintenance unit. Roving mechanoid assigned to cleaning duties. Unit is unarmed and unarmored. Hey look, it's the iRobot. Sinertory drones have not gone rogue. The units are defenseless, have no weapons, and cannot be eaten. These qualities make them useless to the Ing. The small drones are assigned simple maintenance tasks upon creation and perform them without hesitation until reassigned or destroyed. Object analysis complete. Target is part of a power generator system. It appears to be a massive electrodynamo wheel. Unit is locked in auto run cycle. Object scan complete. Security ring is locked down and active. You may be able to access its control system and move it to open position. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> At least the stuttering is gone, but graphics might be a little bit glitchy as it's compiling the shaders. The Sanctuary Fortress.
off the side there. Structural analysis complete. Wall section is structurally unsound. Heavy cannon damage may destroy it. Yeah, so these guys, these elite guards here, they don't they don't mess around, man. Object analysis complete. Object is a Luminoth tech crate. Units possess ultra secure lock systems. Destroy them to discover their contents. Structural analysis complete. Panel is laced with Grobnite and Denzium. It has been weakened by numerous strikes from pirate weaponry. That doesn't destroy it? Damn. Probably a uh, super bomb then. They don't have yet. Thing up here. So we gotta move forward now. New creatures entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Mechanism. Octopede Rogue Delivery Drone. Lightly armored. Disrupted units can explode in self-defense. Octopedes were created in, to deliver data to Luminoth citizens. They now follow the routes and service of other rogue mechanoids. The units were designed to self-destruct if attacked, and will explode with enough force to cause damage. Guess that ought to teach people not to mess with them, huh? They're good for uh, supplies, though. Scan complete. Target mechanoid is an inactive combat drone. Unit is offline and in power conservation mode. No command signals are being received. Combat systems offline. Defense grid is not energized. AI does not respond to transmissions. Well, let me guess, I'm gonna have to fight these things, right? Something's gonna activate them. New creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Mechanoid, or mechanism. Resbite. Rogue patrol drone. Resbit. Resbit. Looks like something right out of res. <laughs> Variable beam cannon and digital virus delivery system. Makes target very dangerous. Barrier shield and phasing power help protect it from damage. It's like a... Just a, like... Little mine with two mines floating around, two smaller mines floating around it, and a bunch of like digital panel holograms things. Very weird looking. The Resbit, though small, is a tough opponent. Its weapon systems is potent, capable of firing bursts or beams at targets. A barrier shield blocks incoming attacks. It can also shift into an energy state to evade enemies. 
While in this state, it can transmit a powerful virus into mechanoids and armor systems. The virus can cripple your systems for a time, leaving you vulnerable. I think that's pretty cool that they actually do that though, the interface for changing that. It glitches out your visor and everything. It's really cool though. it didn't activate one of these. I kind of thought it was going to. New creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Mechanism. Quad M8 Rogue Combat Drone. Main body specializes in close combat. Lower venting system can be damaged by concussive attacks. Boost attack can disrupt its vortex spin. We got a mini boss here, judging by the music playing. This is a mini boss. A quad is formed of two components the quad the quadrupt main body and the flying command module. These units can function independently or link together as the need arises. The main body uses melee attacks in battle. Though durable, it needs to vent excess heat from its body. When this happens, it exposes a venting system vulnerable to concussive attacks. Blasted its head off. Text in battle, though durable, it needs to vent excess heat from its body. When this happens, it exposes a venting system vulnerable to concussive attacks. Yeah, I would think missiles would count as that, but they don't seem to be working. Well, unless maybe you have to. Ah, you have to boost through it. Okay, that's how you do it. You gotta boost through that thing just completely rips it off. I believe there's a save station through here. If I remember correctly. Yep. Gotta go see ya. Alright, man. Sorry, I've been kind of focused on the enemies here. These enemies are really tough in this area.
Ah, oh, you dick. can't do anything with that yet. Object scan complete. Unit is part of the reactor control system. Unit is offline. Reactor operations are on automatic function. Unable to access security codes. The system will remain online. Wish our reactors could just operate automatically, completely on their own. Sounds like every government agency's dream. Shitload of power with no cost. Object scan complete. This is a gyroscopic ring. The unit is part of an energy production system and has been running the same process for approximately 30 cycles. It appears to be an automated mode. Manual bypass mode may be used to override function. Oh, is this little satellite jellyfish dish looking thing? Object scan complete. This is a simple maintenance unit. Programmed to perform routine tasks. The unit functions well despite several deca cycles of service. Tells me that the Luminoth had very advanced tech. Alright, nonconformist, have a good one. Gyroscopic system engaged. Safety systems online. Safety lockdown code is as follows Amber, Cobalt, Crimson, and Emerald. Amber, Cobalt, Crimson, Emerald. Amber, Crimson, Cobalt, Amber, Cobalt, Crimson. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna take a picture of it. We have technology too, damn it. Way I don't forget. Oh, you were talking to the uh, guy that just left. Okay, gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture of this on my phone. 
There we go. <laughs> All right, team out good, good to go. All right. That way I don't have to remember it. So amber first. So they're all color coded here. Set them by doing that. Yeah, you can. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna reset this one. This one's already reset. Go back in. Oh, I guess if you wait, now I'm confused. Why isn't it not let me reset it? I just want to start over. So apparently that was... When I think of amber, I think of red. I suppose it could really be anything. I don't know. I'm not a gem expert. I know, like, basic shit. Like, I know, um... I know a sapphire is blue. I know a ruby is red. Cheese pizza is my favorite. How do we go? How do we go from that to this? From pizza, it's actually a Prince pizza in my state. That's funny. How did pizza even get brought up? You must be thinking of pizza right now, huh? Funny thing is, I had pizza earlier today. Good head. Fuck you. Yeah, he did not like that. Nice camera, it's all over the fucking place. That's all you gotta do, kill those things. How did pizza get brought up? I know, I'm sitting here trying to figure out a simple puzzle here, and or figuring out how it works in the game, rather.
unable to activate Luminoth or Projector. Projector translator model module needed for access. Okay. Yeah, when I think of when I think of Crimson, I think of red though too. Crimson red. Emeralds are green, right? Cobalt blue. Just kind of thinking off the top of my head here. Cobalt blue, crimson red, green emerald. What would what would the amber be? Orange. But it, when I looked when I looked an amber up online, I saw pics. I saw uh, red. Every every amber I'm seeing is red. So it could be red as well. Usually I know, actually funny thing is, most of those gems though I actually know from uh, just being the car colors. Like when I play games like Gran Turismo, you'll see a lot of car colors like crimson red and cobalt blue, shit like that, so that's kind of what I associate with it. In terms of amber though, I've never really thought about that one. So could those just be like whatever? Got me curious now. I legit don't know that one. Oh my god, the camera is <laughs> not very good in this room. The camera does not do good in tight spaces, especially not in ball form. It's not meant to be a third person game. We got access to the dark world now. Well, it's no wonder why he's thinking of pizza. He's fasting. <laughs> well, that explains it. That's why food's on his mind. Because he's starving. Literally starving. New research entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Morphology. Ingworm cache living storage units of the Ing Horde. Ingworms wrap their bodies around useful items to protect them. They are defenseless. Just a bunch of worms. Ugh. The ingworms wrap their bodies around useful items to protect them. They are defenseless. They are not terribly durable and have no form of attack. Hence their assignment as storage barriers by the horde. Why don't you come over here, buddy? Yeah, he's not that dumb. He's not he knows. Power relays connected. Elevator unit online. Where is this going to take me?
get my ammo back. Well, some of it anyway. But it doesn't fall into the abyss. Speaking of, uh, you know, pathways and dark visor puzzles and shit, I know that there's a game-breaking bug in this game, which obviously because this is a, on a 6-gen console, it's never been patched, because uh, it literally can't be patched, but, um, coming up here, there's gonna be a puzzle. Once I enter the room, I cannot leave the room. If I do... My game will be soft locked. I will not be able to progress. There's a puzzle that that glitches out if you I guess if you start it or even maybe even if you just enter the room. Thankfully I didn't come across it, but I heard about it after I had beaten the game and I was looking up info about it or whatever. I heard about that game breaking glitch. And because it's so far into the game, yeah, so I mean so, because there's a, I remember there's a save, people said that there's a save point near that room. So people come across the puzzle, and they're like, well, let me go back and, and save really quick. And as soon as they leave their room, they're screwed. And then they save their game, and then they can't progress. They go back into the room, and the, they can't complete the puzzle, so the door never opens for them. So they, <laughs> they're just screwed. And the only way to solve it is start a new game. There's no fix for it. But it's not this room. No, it's not this room. It's a little later ahead. Uh, I can't I can't do this anyway though not yet I think I remember it was one of the sonic puzzles by the way it's not that one though destructible barrier shield scans indicate presence of a control system controls not present in the visible spectrum or current time space Let's see, so I have to get rid of all these guys. Spawn here too. Huh. Press 
friends would you ever start a TikTok? Um, I may start streaming there. They support uh, high quality. I've got another slot open on my restream. So I could if I wanted to. Does anybody like really stream there? I mean, how are how is the stream quality? I've literally never been on TikTok ever. I know no, I know pretty much nothing about it. Oh, you need a thousand subs to stream on Tik? Oh, fuck that. Never mind then. Mechlops, rogue mechanoid triclops. Luminoff designed mechanoid gatherer with powerful jaws removes intruders forcibly. Which tells me that I need to go into morph ball mode. Because I can actually get underneath this. Luminoff tried to uh, domesticate and train a number of triclops for use in war, but failed. Undaunted, they created mechanical versions of the hardy creatures to use in battle. The few mechlops that remain now serve other mechanoids turning their potent jaws and earth-moving power against their former masters. Damn, the ink just pretty much just corrupted everything. Everything that they, they figured could be useful to them, they are just like, yeah, we're gonna take this. Also, you have to stream in vertical mode? Well, I'm definitely not doing that. So, yeah, so that's off the table then. Never mind. So then, I guess that answers that question. No, I would not stream to TikTok. Aw, oh, you bastard. I can't even bomb him either. I didn't know there was another one over there. He's gonna move me all the way back to the start, you asshole. Fuck you. Yeah, so later on when we get the morph ball, we can just roll right over there. Don't even have to worry about those guys. Structural and or object scan complete. Target is part of the main dynamo. Unit is unstable. Safeguards offline. This unit needs to be shut down manually. That's the core of it. I've just scanned complete. Unit is the main dynamo core. Unit is unstable. It can't be destroyed with conventional weapons. A tremendous kinetic impact may damage it. I've just scanned complete. Target is part of the main dynamo. Unit is unstable. Safeguards offline. No, same message. Okay. Well, let's figure out a way to shut this thing down then. Just scan complete. Security door is active. Use a nearby control system to open door and gain access to Avchikin area. Okay. You have to stream in vertical mode on TikTok. Who the fuck would want to do that? TikTok's weird, man. From like everything I've heard, and then YouTube's like, oh, okay, this is the popular thing now, and then they created their stupid short shit. Which I've just pretty much just been using as like little clips or whatever. I guess it's useful for that. Which they're just like promoting the hell out of, like randomly. It's so weird. Power relays connected. Elevator unit online. Step into the hologram to activate the elevator. It was already active before, so it doesn't really help me. I need an echo key beam, okay. I need the echo visor before I can do this thing. Can I go in here at all, or... No, no you cannot. Should be able to get to the other side of the room now. Over here.
our safe station on this broken platform. Graphic rocks or something? What the fuck is this shit? It's the future. Everything glows in the future. We have holograms on our rocks now. I wonder if that'll let me go down to the bottom. Completely bypass that. Probably. Probably what it'll, what it'll let me do. Yep. I can't access that yet. security gate. Can't do that yet. Did you scan complete target as part of the main dynamo. Unit is offline. Surface is no longer charged. Cleared for contact and use as a walkway. So, can't do anything over here yet, so it's got to be something to do up there then. system over here.
Our relay is connected elevator unit online. What's this room lead to? Ah, uh, I know what I gotta do here to get to that. I'd be wondering, damn, how do you get all the way over there? Later on, we'll get an ability to where we can kind of like space jump. Like, kind of hard to explain, but you can basically like multi jump all the way over there. You can get like endless double jumps basically later on. Essentially, it kind of works as like a glide. Scans complete. Wreckage is blocking access to a control system. Objects are composed of densium. They have been destabilized by heavy radiation. I'm gonna have to come back here later then. Kinetic orb cannon offline. Scans indicate presence of a control system. Interface method unknown. Control unit is units not present in the visible spectrum or current time space. Okay, well before we explore too much over here, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get back, or potentially won't be able to get back. Let's see what's through that dark door. Yeah, okay, this is just the way I came in. Okay. There's another door over here. Hang on. Oh, okay, that's just for that. Ah, oh, that leads into the temple, though. That's definitely where I gotta go. Wait a minute, wrong way. No. Back here, damn it. So many different pathways to take from here. You man. It's a little bitch. Which door was it? the Luminoth uh, translator to access this. Which I believe I get once I get into that temple. Ah, it was this one. Okay. Okay. Hell. Oh, he can regenerate, huh? You're changing shit up on me, are you? head just literally came off it and is now floating around. What the hell? Creature's entry has been uploaded to your log mechanism. Quad CM Rogue Combat Drone. Combat module relies on ranged attacks. Beam shield can be breached by opposite polarity systems. Quad is formed of two components. The, yeah, this is basically it's just 
explaining that this is the head of it. And you know it can come unattached and still function. That's a first. First time it's done that. Okay, so, opposite systems is that. Looks like right now it's, yeah, light energy. I guess her only option is to jump down. Okay, so straight ahead is where we need to go for the temple. And then after that, I believe that's when we get the translator, and then we can access that door. So that's what we need to do. Find a way over there. New creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Mechanism, Dark Quad M8 Darkling Possess Combat Drone. In possession, strengthens target. Main body specializes in close combat. Boost attack and disrupt its vortex spin. So it's just a strengthened version, but it still has the same weaknesses. The Ing discovered they could possess and control artificially intelligent machines as well as living beings. They soon turned the loyal quad drones against the Luminoth. Finding the tenacious machines to be quite useful additions to the horde. Dark Quad see I'm Darkling possess combat drone. In possession strengthens target. Command module relies on ranged attacks. Beam shield can be breached by opposite polar tree systems. Dominant Darkling assumes control of the command module, forcing the lesser ing in the main body to do its bidding. Object scan complete. This is a component of an incomplete mechanoid. 
Design similarities exist between Incomplete Unit and the rogue mechanoids of Luminoth design found throughout this area. New research. Oh, I haven't even uh, scanned one of these grapple points yet since I got the grapple hook. Interesting. New research entry has been downloaded to your logbook. System Grapple Point Unit is a viable attach point for the grapple beam. Do you use the grapple beam? Yeah, I already know. <laughs> Doing it for a while now. How far am I on the scan? 69%. Great number. Objects again complete. This is Illumina Temple Security Station. You have been cleared to access the station. Scan complete. Luminoth subject terminated 1.1 decacycles ago. Subject has taken damage from a number of Luminoth weapon systems, most likely those used by rogue Luminoth combat drones. It took more than the ink to defeat this warrior. Luminoth hollow projector online. Automated message initiated. Hear the words of O-L-I-R, Last Sentinel of the Fortress Temple. May they serve you well. This used to be a great fortress, a safe haven for our people during the war. It also holds portals to the Ing Hive, the heart of their dark tribe. During the war, I built a number of mechanical sentinels to join me in battle. They were made to fight the Ing, and fight them they did, for a time. One by one, the Ing corrupted them. Now, they attack with no mercy. Many went to Dark Aether with their Ing masters. Expect them when you are in the hive. The Ing like to use them as guards. The Ing will protect their home with great ferocity. In all of our battles, the hive has never fallen. I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coded with Cabolt holograms. Search the areas now open to you. If only I could join you, redeem my fallen honor in battle, but my time has passed. Good luck, let the light of Aether show you the way. Energy fully replenished. Luminoth lore translated, Agon Falls. A massive Ing attack came to the land of Agon. Soon, the Temple of Agon was surrounded by the Horde, with no hope of salvation. Our gallant warriors they were, there were slain, and Agon fell to the enemy. Our blood chilled when we learned that the energy within that temple was drained. The Ing had found the energy transfer module, and were using it as a weapon against us. That's everything here.
new creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Morphology. Mechanobite. Wall walking mechanoid. Mechanoid uses magnetism to propel projectiles at enemies, vulnerable to simultaneous explosive blasts. Alright, it's some kind of a bat with dildos for ears and uh, uh, some kind of a ball sack hanging out of its mouth. Alrighty then. The Luminoth created the Mechnobite to help patrol the corridors and shafts of the Sanctuary Fortress. It uses magnetism to keep itself attached to the walls and ceilings. In combat, it will fire projectiles towards its target with a magnetic accelerator. It can only be dislodged by simultaneous explosive blasts. Mechnobites self-destruct once they are heavily damaged. The really weird looking creature that is. Security clearance approved. Door systems online. Through vigilance and strength, we create peace. Restored to kinetic orb cannon. Unit locked in current firing position. Auto fire feature enabled. This guy. This guy was, uh, this is an interesting fight coming up here. New creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Morphology. Spider Guardian. Spider Ball Powered Darkling. Target uses Spider Ball Power to cling to walls. It seems to have a connection to the energy system in the area. Overexposure to energy may disrupt it. Yeah, so this one we're gonna have to be in ball form the whole time. This is kind of an interesting fight from what I remember. Kinda tough, too. Starkling Pillbog has absorbed the power of the Spider Ball. It can travel over magnetically charged surfaces at will. The creature seems to have a connection to the local energy system. Aggravating it may cause disruptions to the system. Yeah, I should probably go back and save. Okay, looks like there's a there's a way I can save it from over here. I might want to do that. <coughs> oh shit. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want to save before I do that, because that's uh it's going to be an interesting fight. Oh god, please tell me I can get back there, right? This fucker's really not going to let me go back and save. Wow, they, they don't let you go back to save. Great! There's, there's got to be a way to get back there, right? Okay, I was going to say... Yeah, 
We gotta go to the right here, and we can save over here. back there. Huh. Oh great, you fucking knocked me off, you bastard. Fucking asshole. Dude, did they really not let me go back and save before a boss fight? What kind of bullshit is that? Oh, that is some bullshit. There's a save file, literally, there's or a save file. There's a save station literally right over here. But they don't let me go back up here. What the fuck? Some bullshit. I'm getting damage too, and it's all fucking bullshit because it was all for nothing. God dang it. Fucking knocking me all over the place. Fuck these things, man. Fucking tentacle ass looking thing. Fuck this thing. Wow, I lost the whole fucking energy tank. All I'm trying to do is get back to where I was. Yeah, that's great. Let's lose health right before a giant fucking fight. It's great. Not worth it. I'm better off just trying to conserve my energy here. Just try not to fucking fall off. You know what? I wonder if I go back to that automated message, will it replenish my health again? Worth checking. I don't think I've ever tried it. I can't believe they don't let you go back and save. What kind of game does that? What kind of game doesn't let you save before a boss fight? Oh, he does say something different, though. He activated again. No, he does. He doesn't give you your energy back, though. Great. Ah, oh, shit. I guess all I can do is just go back and hope for the best. If I die, I have to redo probably fucking 30 minutes of progress. Which is always nice. Who doesn't want to redo 30 minutes of progress?
fuck? Am I supposed to get through this? How am I supposed to get down there without... Oh, okay. Go ahead and hit me through the wall and take a quarter of my life. That's fine. I... Oh, I have to... I think I have to jump up on that one. I thought maybe I could roll over there. Well, I'm probably gonna have to redo this, because I've already lost half my health. Mostly to bullshit. Holy, oh, this fucking fight is a pain in the dick. the color codex mean? What, what's the difference? What is the difference between green, blue, and whatever else he does? It, it really doesn't matter. I'm probably going to have to redo this. Look at how much health I lost. And this is the first phase. It gets harder each time. That does no damage to him. <laughs> okay. Now I'll tell you what's annoying not performing this fucking fight. I would argue this is probably like maybe the second hardest fight in the game. Why does he keep go this way? This way. Yeah, there we go. Knock this little fucker off. How the fuck am I supposed to get to him without taking damage? Maybe I can drop down here? Yeah, that worked, but I can't get to him to bomb the shit out of him. Huh. How come it says the max resolution is 1080p 60fps because I'm streaming at 1080p 60fps? Besides, I'm running this game at 1080p 60fps. How the hell am I gonna get, uh, kill this guy without taking damage? I literally just bombed him and nothing happened. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy, man. Like you said, the max... Yeah, the max recording is 1440p 60fps. Not the stream. I'm streaming and recording at different qualities. Oh, finally. And nothing happened. What in the fuck? Oh, now I can get up there? Apparently. Yeah. 
Well, guess who's gonna have to redo this, folks? Oh, and he resets if you don't get to it in time. Oh, okay. Just gonna save myself some time then. So this fight's gonna be a pain in the dick. It's Chica all over again, folks. The best part is that you can't save once you get into that room, so we have to go through the temple area every time just to get back to the boss fight, which is incredibly stupid. Okay, so how much progress did I lose? I'll have to go through all this area again. That's nice. Oh, and I have to redo everything that was over here too. That's cool. No, it's, it's fine. I, I love redoing the same thing I just did. Great. Tempted to just actually like stop the stream and recording and wait until like the boss is basically dead <laughs> before I start doing this again, just because of all this shit that I gotta do all over again, just to possibly have to do this all over again for a third time. It's incredibly stupid. Like, that's really my main complaint is that. Why couldn't I just resume from, like, right where I was? Why couldn't I just start back from the beginning of the fight? I, I don't... I don't get that. It's really stupid. What game doesn't let you save before a major boss fight? It literally makes no sense. Sorry, but that's really dumb. It's an old game, yes, but even old games let you save before a boss fight. The 
this game said, no, fuck you, redo 30 minutes of shit all over again. Rescan everything, reactivate everything. Even get back over here. Oh, there's a missile expansion down there, too. Right, the camera's horrible with this thing. I can't look in the direction I want. I, I want to be able to have the ability to move the camera. It's so bad. It works fine enough in first person, but in morph ball mode, trying to do combat is like, oh my god. And they knew it was bad, too. That's why in the boss fight, it's just like... 2D overhead type view, because they knew how bad it was. <laughs> Are you really not able to go back here, like, at all? Once you get over here? For real? So once you get here, you're fucked, basically. If you if you if, um, if you mess up that boss fight, you just gotta you gotta redo all this shit, all this shit in here, go through all this again, go back to the temple, speak to that dude again, then get back out of that room, go through that door again, just to get back to the fight. That is so fucking retarded. That is shockingly bad. I've never seen a game like make you redo that much progress just to get to a back to a boss fight. That's crazy. I must have raged so much like four years ago when I played this three or four years ago. Can I scan the fucking head, please? And I'm not worried about conserving energy right now because I know that Sentinel dude will heal me once I get into the Grand Temple, but.
I'm thinking about it now, I don't know what's worse. That stupid fucking Chica fight or, uh, this corny ass shit. Definitely not a fan of having to redo like 20 minutes of gameplay just to get back to the boss. That's ridiculous. You can't skip this, so you have to just wait for him to have his next message so you can skip over it. Yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, I don't have all night game. Like, I'd like to actually progress, but I'm making that rather difficult. Well, I know what it is. I mean, the game is actually kind of short, so, you know, in order to stretch out the game's length, they had to make, the, you know, it's classic Nintendo. They, you know, they, their games are short, so they, they make it ridiculously hard. And they do dumb shit like not letting you save your game before a challenging fight so that the game feels like it's longer than what it really is. That's what all the Halo players do. Like, oh, I'm going to play the game on Legendary. That way I'd, I'd have to play through, like, 15 hours to get the game complete. Oh, it makes the game longer that way. No, you're just replaying the same scene 700 times a piece before you finally do that one specific way the developers intended you to go through it. That way you can progress. That's not really stretching out the length of the game. That's just making it artificially longer than what it really is. You're just doing that to yourself. No, the game's longer this way. Okay. Alright, whatever. People are silly, man. People are really silly. <laughs> of course, people are all pissed off now because I said this, but it's the truth, man. get it this time, um, I'm just gonna end the stream. I'm not even gonna rage. I, I don't I don't really have the energy for it. It's getting late. So if I don't do it this time, I'm not gonna repeat another 20 minutes of traversal. Um, I'll just pick up the next part of the playthrough when this boss is defeated. Like, that's literally what I'm gonna do. So, here we go. We'll see how this goes. I mean, look how, how long it took just to get back here. I mean, 
it's going on 10.30 at night already, and uh, I got work in the morning, so <laughs> I don't have all night to just sit here and do the same traversal nonsense I've already done over and over again, just until I get this fight perfect. God. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, the first part's easy. But you figure out what you need to do. Still don't quite understand the color codex things here. Nor do I really understand how exactly I'm supposed to get to this guy without taking damage. This boss does an insane amount of damage. Okay, I got him. This fight is such a troll. It's it's all about the timing, clearly. He's only halfway dead. Despite all of this. What fresh hell is this? Ah, I got some health back. Okay. I'll gladly accept that. Nice. 
Oh, and this is a multi... multi-stage one, huh? Damn, this one alone is... Right, so we can damage you multiple times here. Problem is, I don't know where he's. Oh, okay, I see. You have to stay over here. Or do not get damaged by that. Kind of bullshit. He can damage me, but I can't damage him. Okay. He's not really gonna. I have to do both of them? Oh, man. Oh, shit. What? Wait, what? What? Do I have to do it at a certain time? Exactly, am I supposed to do it then? Yeah, see, <laughs> he can damage me, I can't damage him. Now. So, when exactly am I supposed to pull the trigger on this asshole? didn't switch to the next method. What the hell? So, uh, am I supposed to do this one first, or...? Oh, jeez. I fucked myself over here, didn't I? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, alright. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So maybe am I supposed to do that one first? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try and do that one first this time. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I don't really know his pathway yet. I don't really know how this goes yet. I, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. I'm locked in. I, I can't. I have no choice. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> this is such a bullshit fight. Okay, I got him there. Look on my part. Get over there. Jesus Christ, so touchy. Let's see how that pans out. Okay, that did not much for me. Oh, there we go. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's a third. I get him locked into the third one. 
It's almost like they designed this for you to have to do it multiple times to kind of learn the pattern and everything. Oh my god, Nintendo. Why do you do this? Why do you do this nonsense to us? Why do you do this? do this a third time. And I'm not doing it tonight. Well, at least I showed off all the courses because he's almost dead, but so am I. So. <laughs> That's great. So how am I supposed to lock him in here? Do I do this one first? And then, and then what? Lock him in here again. Where am I supposed to go now? Oh, I'm supposed to go up there. Son of a fucking bitch. I'm supposed to just magically know that, I guess. See, that's what I'm saying. This whole fucking fight is trial and error. have to learn his patterns, learn where his where he goes and everything. Oh my god. <sighs> An annoying fucking fight. Oh, and that didn't do anything to him. Of course it didn't. No, I have invincibility frames. You can't hit me yet. Well, guess what, folks? I'm not doing it tonight. And now, okay, I was gonna say, now nothing's hitting him. That's great. Probably gonna die here. No, oh, get up there. Get up there. You fucking piece of shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, I did it. Wow. With 29 hit points. If I would have got hit one more time, I would have had to do it all over again. I would have had to traverse for another 20 minutes just to get back to the start of the fight. Then I would have had to do all the stages again and then potentially beat them the next time. Yeah, I wasn't going to do that tonight. That would have been the end of the stream right there. That would have literally took, like, at least, like, 30 minutes. At least. Probably more like 45 minutes. Spider Ball. Yeah, I'd say that's probably, like, the second hardest fight of the game right there. At least from what I can recall. But I got my spider ball back. I mean, the thing that made that, that fight like such a bitch is that you had to do all that traversal just to get back to it. That's what I don't like about it. Like I said, what game doesn't let you save before a big boss fight? Oh, and there's still enemies here. I have to be careful. If I get hit, these these things could potentially hit me. I'm so low on health. 
So even after the boss fight, they still want you to traverse a bunch of random bullshit. Just get me to a damn save point, bro. I mean, at least I can use this fighter ball over here, so it's not it's not that bad, but... Oh my god. Okay, they only do like two points of damage, never mind. Not really in any danger. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I remember there was a... Uh, I saw a missile expansion upgrade somewhere around here. Let's see if I can get to it. Find it, rather. Imagine if they did 30 points of, uh, of damage, and I would have died right there. Oh, you got hit. You were too close to their hitbox, and uh, they do 30 points of damage, so it sucks to be you. You're dead. Redo the boss fight. I would have been, been like, alright, that's it for the stream. <laughs> I would have just rage quit right then and there. So ridiculous. I wouldn't put it past Nintendo to do some kind of bullshit like that, by the way. Well, we gotta stretch out the length of our games, guys. What can we do? Well, how about we have a massive boss fight after 20 minutes of traversal where you can't save your game, and then, when you get to the boss fight, it's a puzzle fight. So, you have to redo it potentially like two or three times before you actually learn the boss's pattern. Then, when that's all over with, if they f somehow manage to finally get through all that, then we'll have it to where there'll be random enemies all over the screen, and you can't really see where you're going. And then if you if you die, you have to redo all that all over again. Brilliant! Let's do that. Good idea. Give him a promotion. Nintendo Entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. Where our games only hold one gigabyte of disk space. Because we're intelligent. Sir, are you sure we should use mini DVDs for our GameCube? I'm actually not. I'm actually kind of scared to even try to find the missile expansion. I'll come back here later. Fuck the missile expansion. I don't want to die. Sir, are you sure we should use mini DVDs for our uh, our GameCube? I mean, everybody else is going to DVD ROM, the standard format. Well, but piracy, but piracy. No, we have to have it to where we have our 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 <laughs> proprietary disc format which are more expensive to develop, hold less space, but uh, we'll justify it by saying that the uh, the loading speeds are a little bit quicker. But sir, the Xbox uh, loads data right into its de uh, into its uh, hard drive for caching, so it's actually quicker than our system. Preposterous. We're Nintendo. They'll buy it anyway. Sir, nobody's buying the GameCube. What? Why? Oh my gosh. Let's only put one analog stick on our controller. That way it's impossible to... Oh, look at that, and there's, there's enemies here. Of course there are enemies here. <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, we can't let you save or get any health. Yeah, you see the orange dot on my minimap? Yeah, that's an enemy. <laughs> and these are tough enemies, so they can kill me in one hit. They can literally... If I can't get to that other side of the room, I'm dead. And I have to redo the boss fight. Is there any other way to save the game from here? I'm seeing a... Uh, well, I can't because it's, it's going to be blocked off from there, right? Dude, there's got there's got to be like crates or something I can use. This this can't be this can't be it, right? There's no fucking way. There's got to be something I can use here. Can I just can, can I kill these things for some health? Far away, I think. Maybe I can. Can't reach him. <laughs> My God. I don't want to risk it. If I die, I. I mean, that's. Fucking hell. 
Okay, so here's what I could do. There's some crates over on that side of the room. What if... What if I can destroy them? Can I suck the energy over here? He's firing at me. I can feel the controller vibrating. Okay, that just gave me a big boost of health. Get that. Thank God. I'm terrified right now. I really don't want to redo that whole fight. Are you kidding me? Okay. I got lucky. Because if, if he would have got a lucky shot, I would have had to redo it. Oh, the boost ball. Okay. Oh, okay. It didn't really work, though. There we go. Okay, thank God. Now I can save the damn game. Oh, and there's more enemies over here. At least they had crates over there. Ima imagine if they didn't even have those crates there. Sir, are you sure it's a good idea to have our players have to, like, fight a major boss without being able to save for 45 minutes? And then encounter a shitload of enemies with no way to, to uh, help yourself here? Yes! It's a brilliant idea. And I'm still taking a shitload of damage, by the way. How much longer will I have to go without being able to, uh, Without being able to get any major health or anything? Seriously. Come on. Dude, how many fucking... Jesus Christ, how much damage can these guys take? I'm rapid firing. Just let me save my damn game. My gun's literally smoking from how many times I've been firing it. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. I just want to save the damn game. What the fuck do I even get over there? There's feeling to it. Oh, it's a, a sonic security system, of course. So, in other words, I can't go back to that save point because, of course, I can't. Why? I mean, why would we let you save after a big boss fight? I mean, come on. We're not going to let you save before, so why would we let you do it after? Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. Okay, where am I supposed to go then? Ah, maybe I can do something with this. Yes, okay. That's how I get back over here. Like, I get that they wanted an adrenaline... ...kind of moment, maybe, but... Jesus Christ, man, within limits, within reasons. You know? Okay, let me see if I can get over there, like, ASAP. Jesus criminy. Take the elevator down. Good news is there's no more enemies. There's no enemies to spawn in this area. Uh, so further down to the right. the same level. 
Should be right through this door. Finally. Oh, shit. 45 minutes later. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to save my damn game. But, uh, that being said, that's probably a good point to leave off. Here, let me just fucking save again just in case. Jesus Christ. Double save. Just be doubly sure. I don't want any fucking bullshit. Not after a fight like that. But I'm gonna leave it off here, though. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys later. Um, Cyberpunk is probably gonna be up next. That's probably gonna look a lot better. Because I look back at the footage I did um, for the p first couple parts of that, I wasn't uh, I wasn't too happy with the way it looked at 720p30 on my last setup. So hopefully they look a lot better now going forward. So we'll have to see. I'm curious to see what the difference is going to look like with that much higher bitrate. Should look a lot crispier. So I'm excited to jump back into that too. We're at like a major point for Cyberpunk, so going to be jumping back into that. So uh, yeah, that being said. Take care, have a great night, and uh, catch you later.